guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X. Today we're going to be rooting the LG G3. Now, the IO root method by Auto Prime currently works on ATT and Verizon as well as the international variant and the Korean model. Unfortunately, the IO root method does not currently work on T Mobile or Sprint. However, J Case and Auto Prime, along with some other developers, are currently working on a root method for those devices that will be coming soon. As soon as that method is released, I will be sharing it right here with you guys, so be sure that you're subscribed for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and root this Verizon LG G3. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is install the drivers. So you'll head to the link in the description. The first link will bring you to the Verizon specific IO root thread, which is here, and you have a link for drivers. Now, alternatively, on any modern Windows computer, you should be able just to plug in the USB cable to your phone and it should automatically install the proper drivers if for some reason that doesn't work the proper drivers are not installed you would come to this thread and just download and install the driver itself okay the next thing you want to do is head to the second link in the description that will bring you to the original auto prime thread for io root here you will download the io root zip just click that download it once it's downloaded you'll extract it to your desktop and you'll have a folder similar to this. So there's a few files here, and you will be able to run this on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So the first one here is the ioroot.bat, that's for Windows. ioroot.sh is for Linux, and ioroot.tool is for Mac. Okay, so now on our phone, you wanna go into settings, go into about phone, software information, and click on the build number eight times until it says you have become a developer. Then you'll go back, back again. You'll go into developer options. Scroll down to where you see USB debugging and check that on. Okay, and then you'll go ahead and plug your phone up to the USB cord. If you're on Verizon, what you'll want to do is pull down the notification bar, click on USB connection, make sure that you select internet and ethernet connection. Okay, so we'll set our phone down to the side and we will begin the ioroot.bat. Okay, so you'll see that it says it is made by Auto Prime. This is an automated root for the LG Optimus G, G2, G3, G Pro, and it gives you a list of devices here. And see, it says the security backdoor found by Giant Pune, and it gives us lots of different information here. This is enable ADB connection, developer options unlocked and on, USB de debugging on, Accept RSA key fingerprint and press any key to continue. So we'll go ahead and press enter. Okay, and it's just going to kind of go through the script and do its thing. Okay, if at any time you see this screen asking for the RSA key fingerprint, make sure that you do select OK. Okay, so it will automatically boot you into this mode. From this screen, you will use the volume down to select apply update from ADB. So you're gonna scroll down to apply update from ADB. Once you've selected apply update from ADB, you'll click the power button, wait three seconds, and then press enter on the PC. Okay, so if it worked properly, it'll say dat root. For some reason, the io root.bat would not send the dat root.zips. What I was able to do here is I went to the PC and I went into the BTS folder here up top. That's where my dat root.zip is right here. So I just went shift, right click, open command window here, and then just type adb side load dat d-a-t-r-o-o-t dot z-i-p and hit enter. That will go ahead and run the script on your phone if it doesn't do it automatically through the iroot.bat. It should do it through the iroot.bat, but if for some reason it doesn't, you will be able to ADB sideload it by simply going into this folder, opening a command window here, and then typing ADB sideload dat root.zip. That will apply the root. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and reboot our phone. Just make sure reboot system now is highlighted and hit the power button. That'll go ahead and reboot the device. You should be able to go to the Play Store. We'll go ahead and load super user. So we'll go with the Super SU by Chainfire. Go ahead and install that. We'll go ahead and update the Super SU binaries. Okay, then we'll head back into the Play Store. Download the root checker. Okay, 
we'll go ahead and open that and verify root. Okay, so there you have it. The LG G3 on Verizon and AT&T does have root thanks to Auto Prime and several other developers that have helped to put this thing together. And like I said, pretty soon T-Mobile and Sprint will have it also. Uh, be sure that you stay tuned to this channel for that root method when it is available. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.